Welcome back to Timber Borners. Where if you're caught sleeping again, you'll be sent to the Wheel of Pain. Hey now, come on, that's not fair, is what they'll probably say. Why don't you let us rest? rest. The PTSD from the bad type makes us stressed. You guys complain more than my editors. Yes, hello fellow engineers, and welcome back to what has to be one of the most successful season of the Timberborners ever. It's like we've played seven seasons of this and suddenly all that experience is paying off, despite some stinky surprises by the developers in this update. But yeah, last time we, we tried to actually harness the power of poo down here. So before the poo waters came back, we built quite a lot of these. We just need to build all the shafts and stuff and then try and get this all the way back so we actually have power because for now this is the only power generation we have these power wheels that run during the wet season and then we have the wheel of pain should we need power during the dry season something worth noting uh, very very kindly pointed out by my editors i accidentally built or started building two coffee breweries so let's delete that one we don't need twice the coffee i know i know it's sort of the thing to put like a starbucks on every corner but there's a lot of corners down here it looks like we can't get enough materials we're waiting for treated planks and if you remember up over this way we're using those treated planks to build these now these are irrigation barriers um, and basically these stop like the pollution spreading so when we get the bad tides come back uh, hopefully this will keep all of our all of our plants like alive and stuff but yeah every one of these takes five treated planks so we really need to try and work on those somehow first off more important things to do oh actually i was gonna skip but no look look everyone's heading up to here they're doing some yoga he hasn't even taken his backpack off and he's doing yoga Basmo 12, you legend, doing yoga in your in your work gear. But yeah, this this was built because of the incident. Now, of course, we don't talk about the incident, but just remember, this is here to remember the incident. And but yeah, if you check out their their well-being rating, 18. That's so high. It means they get 40% working speed. 15% movement speed and 40% life expectancy. And the reason they've got that pretty much, remember last time, we improved the variety of our diet. So not only are we eating kohlrabis, but also fermented soybeans and corn rations. We will soon have the coffee added to that. Well, and actually the eggplant rations. Yes, yes. We started growing eggplants. Oh, all the eggplants, they have been harvested. Uh, where did we store those? There must be like eggplants stored somewhere. Oh, is that them? Oh, yes, that is them. Look in there. There's loads of eggplants. Don't let your kids watch it. Okay, so we need to turn them into food rations. We can use this building. Everyone's sat on their butts. What's going on? Yeah, this one's currently set up for corn rations. Looks like they're not able to get any. Oh, have we run out of corn? Okay, so let's just change that one to eggplant rations. Oh, which does require canola canola oil now we do have some oil oh no i was gonna say stored in there but uh we we don't now the annoying thing is until this coffee brewery is built we can't actually build the oil press because uh, it won't have power until this building is there because power is shared through buildings so you could say that was a bit of a schoolboy error but actually i'm thinking i could just have a little rejig of the path over this way i might increase the priority of that shock to no one because uh, the sooner we have some canola oil the sooner we can make eggplant rations yeah look he's back sat on his butt who is that andrew tiller yeah that's probably what these two are waiting for as well the fermenters so we got lime land as well as dom jaro yeah waiting for canola oil. oh and soybeans actually i think yeah didn't we have like a bit of an issue yeah that was it that was it someone forgot to keep an eye on the water levels up here probably an editor it's usually an editor uh, so I started building all these dynamites. So we had like a bit of a lower channel, uh, which should just mean the water up here will be stored for longer, like before it evaporates. But yeah, it did mean all of these died, which is no good. Oh, that's good though. We have canola seeds on the way. So yeah, hopefully if our builders are building, oh yes, our builders are building. We just need some logs now. And we do actually have logs. We had a bit of a log shortage last time, but that seems to have been fixed. I'm looking around actually. I'm like, there's not many trees we can get logs out of. Oh, what about, hang on, what's going on up here? I I thought you, who's in there, very take. I thought you were meant to be replanting all of these leftover oaks. What have you been doing? Yeah, replant dead trees, not marked for... Oh, not marked for cutting. Ah, yeah, they're all marked for cutting. Okay, that makes sense. So do I need to unmark all of these for cutting? Then they'll all get replanted. And then when they grow, I can mark them for cutting again. Okay, got it. In the meantime, oh, do I want to try and get over there? I think I do. There's logs and there's also places that could be planted. So if I just put some steps there, 
repair some steps there. Yeah, that should reach. I don't think... Yeah, we won't be able to replant, but we will be able to get some logs. So perhaps that's worth doing. Right. Well, in the meantime... Do we have enough resources? Food looks fine, although variety is low. Water is going up, so that's good. I think once these four are full, that should do us for a drought. Uh, wood we are a bit short of, as with planks. Yeah, tell you what then, maybe that's what we should do like over here. Where our paddy fields are, let's plant all of that with trees. So if we put stairs like there, then wang a path from there over to here, where we can get a forester and then a lumberjack flag and then a large industrial pile and then i'm just gonna cover this area i might do like a range of trees to be honest because yes oaks are good because you get the most amount of wood out of them but a bit of variety means we're not like always waiting so if i do birches like up to that point then a load of pines and a load of oaks down that way that's a lot of wood but i think that will be good oh that was a rhyme um oh my goodness there's a drought approaching oh that's good it's just a drought no more bad tide oh Oh, the bad tide's been so kind to me. It's like giving me time to finish all these irrigation barriers. That is very much appreciated. Thank you, game. Uh, oh, what isn't appreciated? Though we're literally out of logs. No logs at all. Did we? Oh, yes, we got these in. Okay, we got these in. Okay, we're saved. We're saved because we can do that. We can turn on those two. So, Kasaruki Addy Duck. <laughs> <laughs> nice name. They've gone in there. We've got those trees to be cut down. So that will be a short little influx of wood. All right, nice. So you can also see our, our farm area. Like loads of the crops are growing back. We've got cassavas down there. We've got the corn up here. We've got soybeans. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. Actually, over this way. Oh, yes, these are done. So we've got to get someone in there. High prioritize. <laughs> Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Ray Yeah, they should start making canola oil. Yeah, look, there they're gone. They've gone inside there. So you can see this crushes down on the canola seeds, makes the canola oil, which actually I should probably store like, very close by, like opposite. Just because otherwise, look, when they're when they're done, they're like floating barrels of canola oil this way. you got to go all the way to the nearest canola oil storage. But yeah, all the time they're moving with the oil, they're not actually creating more oil. So maybe that's another one I should prioritize by haulers because the hauler's job is just to haul stuff I'm, oh goodness blooming hell look how many beavers just died of old age everyone's getting old oh do you know what i was thinking the other day like this is actually really horrible thought but uh paddy's gonna die at some point i know everyone's gonna die at some point this is quite morbid actually but, like i don't want paddy to die paddy's like the best dog ever i'll tell you what before paddy dies we need to get him a silver play button so if you're watching this go subscribe to paddy's youtube channel let's get that dog to a hundred thousand subscribers <laughs> And then he can die a happy dog. <laughs> he's not going to die, right? Please. Someone tell me he's not going to die. Right, anyway, I just need to mark all of these trees that I just planted to be chopped down. And then, yeah, that is going to be some wood income. You see, they're already building the stairs down. Decent. Okay, this is going good. Oh, it's the last... Hang on, it's the last night before the drought. I'm going to let a little bit of water out of these just to top up the bottom of the paddy fields. So that's probably enough. Yep. Oh, that's too much. I flooded. That's too much. I flooded. <laughs> But right, okay, drought has started. Um, oh, actually, actually, this is the, the poo water area. When we're in drought, we can build more of these. Yes, okay, so let's unpause these. Yes, look, all the beavers are coming. They they will start building all of those. And they shouldn't go in the poo water. Although I'm hoping... Yeah, I don't remember there being a big, like, poo lake there. Maybe it evaporates. We've got six days of a drought. Oh, yeah, actually, probably combined with some backpack, like, pumping away in there. Assuming he's not... Oh, he's, he sat on his butt. He sat on his butt doing nothing. I assume that's because we can't store any more bad water and we don't want to store any more bad water. Is that because we're not using it up? Oh no, look, we are using it up. Old, uh, old Neko Jason. They're turning bad water into explosives. Okay, that's good. And um, that is actually good because explosives, we've got a... Are they actually in? Oh, they're in. So that means I can detonate like boosh, 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 boosh. Oh yeah, two-way detonations to gain a bit of water back to here. So if I detonate those... How oh no, they're not quite in yet, those. You can see there's a few little areas over that way that we're missing. But uh, what I want to do, can you see we've dynamited like up to that point? So I think what I want to do, I want to move that path so I can still dynamite underneath. So if I put like two of those there, then I can do a little bypass path like that. And then I can, it means I can delete this platform and then put dynamite there. Cool. But yeah, by having a deeper channel, that should be good. Actually, that reminds me, I probably should turn off these log pumpers. Oh, actually, look. What? Three log pumper jobs? No one wants to do it. 
It's not high enough priority. I was not expecting that. I'm not going to lie. All right. So anyway, as it is the, the dry season, everyone knows the dry season ritual is pain, 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 pain. Oh, too far, too far. I zoomed in too far. <laughs> but yeah, these four little guys. <laughs> Shagger. <laughs> That's such like a Welsh thing to call someone. But yeah, these four are trying to keep the power flowing throughout the drought. Um, oh, I really want to give people coffee. Should I prioritize the coffee brewery? 25 treated planks. It's quite a lot. It's basically five of these that I could build. And these will be important, like really important. But right now they're not because I mean, we're in a drought, which means we've got another wet season to go at least until we get another bad time. Yeah, sod it. The people want coffee. High prioritize. So the tree Treated planks should end up in here now. And the other thing I've noticed, the we've had like loads and loads of scientists for ages now. I guess that's because I sort of semi-high prioritized these. But we have science stonks. I have a feeling. Wasn't there something at like four and a half thousand that I wanted? Ooh, or was it a bad water discharge? Yeah, it may have been this because yeah, I think think my plan was if I place one of those bad water discharges on here, I can have this flowing like throughout. So at the moment in the in the droughts that dries up. But if I build on those bad water discharges on there, that can flow constantly, which means these will provide us with constant power. So that is delicious. Or oh, what isn't delicious though? Look, two days remaining of the drought, which means the bad water will start flowing. And if you look, this water level has not gone down at all. I think what we may have to do, we may have to build this and sacrifice a beaver or two. Like at the end of the day, it's, it's great and good, isn't it? Like Hoover Dam, I'm pretty sure some people died. We just buried them within the dam. So like if, if a beaver dies, like trying to build this, uh, we can just like turn a beaver into like a shaft or something. I'm sure we can do that. We've got the technology. Is anyone else noticing very morbid like themes this episode? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm talk Why am I talking about death? I never talk about death. I occasionally cause death, like the incident. But we don't talk about that usually. We have rules in place. And yeah, by the way, if we want a bad water discharge, look at the amount of resources we need. 200 blooming metal blocks. 300 gears. That is quite a major undertaking. Pause, pause. Oh, it's happened again. Oh, it's happened again. We've lost all of our soybeans. We're probably going to lose all the corn. Uh, paddy fields are keeping the old eggplants going. But yeah, oh, that's so annoying. So I think actually when I dynamite those out because the drought has already started it was actually to my own detriment because all i did was lower the water level oh actually look that path is done tell you what we can let's delete that and that let's shove a cheeky dynamite on there i am gonna have to dynamite this out as well i'm sort of waiting for them to get the last bits of dynamite up there because once those three are in we're good oh, we're also good because the drought has ended thank goodness so water is returning to the top which uh, should fill up this level and then we can get all of these going again oh look at all these corns dying no Stop dying. Oh, it's so annoying. I hate stuff when it dies. Everything's dying. Why is everything dying? And I'm just talking about death the whole time. Yeah, look, look, look. The water's returning. The water's returning, which means our farmers are replanting. Lovely jubbly. Um, oh, and it also means we can turn off the wheel of pain. So you thought... Don't worry, you can go get real jobs now. But yeah, we need to have a think about what we're going to do down here. I mean, I don't really want to sacrifice beavers. Actually, isn't there like a decontamination pod? Oh, we can build some of those. Oh, maybe I should build some of these and then we can heal people. I mean, obviously, we don't want to we don't want the contaminated beavers over here. But since they only require power and this is already generating lots of power. Yeah, we could perhaps shove a couple of pods there. Swap that with a T junction and that will get power. We then just add a path along that way. And then, oh no, these need extract, don't they? I forgot about the extract. So how do we make extract with a centrifuge? That turns bad water into extract. Oh, we do have the resources to build. Yes, hold it. Let's build one of them then. So we'll build one of them. Yes. Oh, it's quite a big building. A big building that needs power as well. That's slightly annoying. Tell you what, may as well build it up here though. Boosh. And then that building will have power. And I believe we can, we can do something else with extract. We can get advanced breed pods on the go. Now, basically, this means that we skip the, the child beaver stage. Now, the downside is these require the treated planks. And our colony is very, very short of those right now. Um, oh, look, all the dynamites in there. I tell you what, then, if I delete this path back to 
there. We can then dynamite that in. And by the way, we finally have beavers down here. So we're planting trees. We're chopping down these ones as well. Um, and check out the, the food variety. That is good. That means beaver life expectancy should be a bit a bit longer than it was. Oh, the, we've also got three log pumpers on the go. Synchronization. Anyway, what I want to know, did we build the coffee machine? Yes, we did. Okay, then. Time to harvest some coffee beans. I don't think we've, we haven't been harvesting coffee beans at all, have we? Okay, so let's get someone in here. Kevin Hammonds. Um, I'm going to prioritize coffee beans, please. Because we've got coffee beans up that way. We've got coffee beans down there. Uh, what else do we need for coffee? Logs and water, which are already in there. Okay, decent. Up the priority. Oh, King Engineer has gone in there. We'll be making the King's Brew. An eclectic blend of coffee beans and water and logs. Mm. Perfect for an engineering beaver. Oh, look, he's making coffee. So the roof thing spins. That's probably the coffee grinder. Oh, imagine the smell coming out of there. So I am someone, I don't actually like coffee, like the taste of it, but the smell of it is incredible. Oh, look, there's our first batch. So that should go in there to get us coffee. What does it look like? Ugh. I mean, I don't really know what I expected, but it it doesn't look the most appetizing. And surely that's not going to stay warm in there. Anyway, we do now have coffee. I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm just going to stay here and see like who is the first beaver to drink a bit of coffee. Here it is. Here it is. Is it a baby? Is it? No. <laughs> Matt, the technologist. No, kids, baby, you're not meant to be drinking coffee. It's, it's an adult drink. <laughs> What are they doing? They're going to be wired. They're going to be up all night. Actually, let's let's keep an eye on Matt, the technologist. Let's see what he gets up to with his added energy. By the way, 22 well-being score. Beavers are actually thriving this series. I knew they would. But right, Matt, the technologist, completely wired on caffeine. Where is he going? Right, he just had a drink of water, probably washing his mouth out. Like, coffee is quite grim to taste, particularly as a child. And I'm just a man-child, remember? Oh, look out. Look out. He's going to do a bit of yoga. Use up that energy. Look how fast he's jumping from all that coffee. <laughs> right, well, anyway, up here, our centrifuge is actually done now. So let's up the priority of this. No shock there. So you two guys, you're going to be making extract. Um, I should probably get some storage of extract down. Is it a liquid? Yeah, it's a liquid. Okay, so we'll store those in there, which means we've got these decontamination pods ready to go. So what I'm going to do... Oh, look at look all the haulers, by the way, coming over with the bad water. But yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build some stairs to so build those ones and those ones and then we can build most of the stuff down here this is going to be proper dangerous so if you're watching at home make sure you're wearing your ppe you got your hard hat on you got safety goggles do not try this at home i'm also wondering is this actually gonna like move like perhaps that thing on top spins around it does oh there's like green gas coming out the top uh wasn't expecting that not gonna lie but yeah we are now we are now making extract oh look, i'm trying to I'm trying to spin the same. <laughs> this is so pointless. I'm trying to spin the same speed as the extract machine. But when I get my mouse going at the right speed, yeah, nice. <laughs> I have far too much time on my hands sometimes. But right. Oh, no. Look, here's our first. Here's our first beaver. Who is it? Bartek Matt 47. I'm very sorry. Probably going to get contaminated. Sir Borge or Sir Borge is also in there too. We got Lathriae also in there. Oh, look. Oh. The bath's filled up with like green water, green goop. Supply will last for 30 hours. Oh, cool. So yeah, the extract goes in there, which allows us to build all this stuff under here. Hopefully without losing a beaver. This is this is a risky operation though. I'm not going to like, how is like bathing in bright green stuff better than like just a bit of poo water? Like they don't look healthy. They they don't. Come on. All right, can't get all material. Oh, we're short on logs. What's happening with the logs? There's loads of logs down it. Oh, I paused the blooming. No, I didn't pause. Jim Crow, what are you doing? Oh, Jim Crow is actually at work. Okay, we've got to get someone. We've got to get Justin Beachley in there helping. Oh, that's not good. Jim Crow's hurt his teeth. All right, tell you what then. I need a little bit of base and we'll get a tooth grindstone in so we can shove one there maybe two up there and by the way just having a look at my little well-being score here yes we got a few broken teeth and injuries but we're fixing those what else do we need to work on we could get the wet fur up a bit add a couple of showers or something maybe need to plant more cassavas and then oh do we just need more campfires yeah i feel like we're hitting quite a lot of other things oh maybe yeah some of these would be good actually more fun stuff so in the well-being what do we actually have oh wind 
wind tunnel? I'd love a wind tunnel. There's also a swimming pool. Is that just what a Lido was? Yeah, I think they've changed the wording so that like people like me don't get confused whether it's Lido or Lido. But it is just a swimming pool now. That's good. Question is, where does it go? Could it fit? Oh, it fits there quite nicely. Oh, is that, there's like a shallow end and then a really deep end. Yeah, I like that. Unlock swimming pool for 250 science. Chump change. Yes, please. Oh, by the way, the planting down here, the trees that we did earlier hasn't gone amazingly not gonna lie we're getting there but i guess there's only one beaver addy duck and i'll tell you what there are actually quite a lot of trees about yeah let's unpause that lumberjack flag sir borje sir borje get you oh yeah there's another one there because look at all those trees unpause that dr zeus or dr zeus if you watched simpsons dr zeus dr zeus but yeah we do actually have quite a lot of trees that could be cut down it's just a case of getting these guys to pull their weight right anyway how are our brave builder beavers doing up this way oh no look this beaver has spent too much time in contaminated bad water it's fine for now but we'll get sick in a few days well we are prepared for that we are prepared and um, how is the actual building going up here oh not great we haven't even <laughs> we haven't even built one stair set i'm sorry that's pathetic so we've got infected. We haven't even built one set of stairs. We've got to build all of that under there. That's going to be a right mission. Anyway, good news is the grindstones are in. So teeth are being fixed. Uh, food looks good. Water looks good. Cool. Right. For now, as the sun sets, I think that's probably a good spot to leave. I feel like we're, we're making good progress. Like we are really unlocking some of these things. We got the swim pool under construction. We're going to have a huge influx of power, hopefully next episode which means perhaps we could power a wind machine or even a theater who knows maybe there'll even be a musical show but uh, for now i think i'll say peace love and beavers bye guys